Hello, my name is Arnold Desnumseda. I'm a CEO of SmartLens. We are the, one of the first here in UK to tokenize the real assets. We have a legal FCA regulated framework in the UK. We have a head office here in London. We have uh, also the back offices in Kiev and Vilnius. We have a team of uh, 20 people, entrepreneurs, technologists, product owners, investors. We probably are the first one. We had tokenized a uh, student accommodation purpose build uh, uh, building in Nottingham. Happy to elaborate uh, more. How do you build trust? Once you leave the, the, the people who talk cryptocurrencies, it becomes a bit of a different conversation. If, if you're speaking to institutional real estate and you're trying to explain to them what the business case is for what is going to happen in the future, what do you usually say? We um, use the legal framework, which is FCA regulated, which means to say that we are sort of crowdfunding 2.0. We use different technology, blockchain technology, where we promise this uh, liquidity. For example, at the moment in the crowdfunding space, uh, if you invest, there is no liquidity, right? So we say that, you know, it's it's not there yet, but uh, we, you know, we have a threefold liquidity. So in three months, we have the bulletin board where the people uh, on the P2P level then can sell their token, which they acquire in the primary market. And uh, then we also partner up with uh, Archax, uh, probably will be the first uh, to list uh, our token on Archax exchange. And in the longer run, we also plan to do the, our own idea, yeah, but it's, 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 it's a third uh, option. And for the, for the property, uh, let's say developers, asset owners, what we say that uh, we just use technology and cryptocurrency is uh, just a form of payment for investors to pay for that uh, token. So the investors from all around the world, they can pay, you know, crypto, Bitcoin, and fiat currencies to acquire this token. But the token is just a part of the technology that uh, will enable basically to on-chain to make transactions, which is uh, quite uh, free. Yeah, so we use a stellar technology, but transaction doesn't cost anything. So 5,000 transactions is one pence. Uh, so it's, it's just for free, right? Absolutely. And as far as institutional or just a regular investor, what will be the first things that, that we can start to implement and go down the path of really and truly catching up to the future? We have been engaged, also we engaged with various um, um, say business clients, so real estate developers, small, medium sized. We also have been engaged by the bigger uh, asset managers as well. With this uh, you know, mechanism, by tokenization, we can provide the uh, capital to the small and medium sized real estate owners, real estate developers. And that's the key thing for them to solve. The liquidity is not so important, uh, but for the institutional ones, so the big investment banks, so the liquidity is the key, the key pain. And of this space is the liquidity is a key driver of this space. And at the moment, the liquidity is not there. So institutionals are looking into this space, but um, because there is no liquidity, so they are just exploring and researching the space. And for example, there is one, let's say, potential uh, asset manager, the agricultural asset manager. So uh, the, the use cases could be that there is a wine yard in, in America, and then basically uh, we can tokenize 10, 20 percent on the wine yard and allow you know mass market to invest, uh, let's say, small fractions and to own that wine yard where the yield is seven, eight percent. And by by doing this, we capture some of the mass market and cash. Which is sitting in the in the in the world. I think at the moment, uh, statistically, it's about 40% of cash sitting in the bank accounts and doing nothing. And for institutions, for institutional, then if we can place these uh, these security tokens on the exchange and create the liquidity, and by unlocking the liquidity, it's theoretically it can be unlocked the liquidity premium, because the if the asset is illiquid, theoretically, if there is a lot of liquidity, so liquidity premium can be unlocked. So we're talking about. 10, 20 percent, but it will take, I think, a lot of time for this uh, to happen because we need to build uh, and the, the, all the stakeholders uh, working in the exchange and the liquidity pools. They have to build, to build these liquidity pools by employing all participants in exchanges. And we add that, yes, for UK market, there is appetite in Asia and also, also in the Middle East. 
for these uh, regions, uh, they have appetite to, to buy properties in UK. And uh, the moment the pound is depressed, I think that's a good uh, moment to buy properties uh, from these regions. What we plan, we plan to offer some new products, which is very clear for everyone. It's like, you know, current account with a card where the consumers can, you know, order the card can open their current uh, account, transfer the fiat currencies, cryptocurrencies, and then they can, you know, become the sort of current account users. We chosen that student accommodation sector as a real estate alternative sector, which is really uh, by big four, but uh, by the researchers actually proven that it's 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 a recession basically proof. And during recession ten years ago, this sector actually was proven to be, you know, growing little by little. Because for us, it's very important to build the quality projects. If we fail, the you know profit would be you know failure. But it depends which what kind of profit, you know, case by case. So we have to select really good quality uh, projects in this early stage.